everybody my name is Lydia you're watching ketosis focus if this is the first time that you stumbled upon my channel welcome I am on a weight loss journey and I have chosen the keto lifestyle as my pathway there I've been doing keto for exactly 13 months tomorrow 13 months and I have lost 73 pounds <laughs> It's been a while since I busted out the apple cider vinegar, mainly because my lemon squeezer broke. So I had to buy this new lemon squeezer, which is pretty cool because it actually gives you measurements in the bottle, but you have to hand squeeze it. All right, so this is a whole lemon and a whole lemon gave me almost about an ounce of lemon juice. We're gonna do two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. One, two, stevia. It is about 1.30. I'm getting a little bit of a headache. I thought I was going to be able to make it all the way until it was time to eat, but I'm not going to start making the meatloaf for today until about 3 o'clock. So um, just I need something to hold me over. So I'm going to do a turkey slice, put a little bit of this yellow mustard on there, and I'll probably wrap this Havarti cheese inside of it. And that'll be a little snack to hold me over until it's time to eat my meal for the day. Right, this is the final product. Let's see if it tastes good. All right, final verdict. What do you think? It's good. Truthfully. <laughs> truthfully. Okay, well, it's still kind of mushy like meatloaf. Uh, not like a burger is, I guess because it's thinner, it seems like it cooks throughout. And this one is still kind of mushy in the middle. Like meatloaf. Thank you. Would you ever have it again? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Maybe if we say, we're having a, a naked burger. Maybe I throw my mind off or something. Okay. All right, so you've never had this meatloaf before. What do you think? You like it? Would you eat it again? Yeah, I'll have it for lunch tomorrow. Really? You like it that much? Yeah. Is there anything you don't like about it? The onions. All right, it is 1137. My move ring is closed, and I hit my 5,000 step goal today at 5334. All right, let's see how Tuesday looks. 9 a.m. We'll try a little vanilla stevia this time and a splash of cinnamon. starting my day off with a bulletproof coffee. I haven't had one in a while, but I know when I have these, I'm able to go longer. 
without being hungry. And so since I'm trying to do OMAD this week, I found myself hungrier than usual. And I'm sure it's because right after vacation, I came back and I started eating two meals a day, which wasn't something I was doing before. So I got a little hungry around 9, 9.30 this morning and I ended up having my apple cider vinegar today to try and stretch that hunger over. And it did its job now that it's noon. I'm starting to get another little headache, so I'm gonna drink my Bulletproof coffee and try and have my meal around two or three. When we had dinner last night at four, I was able to be fine the rest of the day. I didn't start getting hungry until about nine o'clock or so. Um, so the earlier I go to bed, the less of an issue that it is in my eyes. So we're gonna see how this week goes. I really wanna stick to OMAD, but like my keto coach friend, Brian always says, he's like, don't make OMAD happen or else you'll be hungry and get headaches and yada, 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 which is exactly what's happening. You want to organically go one meal a day, which is the food that you're eating is, you know, substantial and enough fat and your stomach is shrunk to where you can't have as much food as before. So that being said, I think my meals and my fat, I wanna up this week to kinda of keep me full until my next meal. And then we'll see how it goes on the scale at the end of the week. Oh, I didn't do my collagen. I'm gonna to have to have a second cup of coffee today for my collagen. It's okay. Bulletproof, today is where we're going. Oh, I forgot I had my sweetener, damn it. I'm gonna do that now. I hate when I make my bulletproof coffee and I forget my stevia. Okay, so now I put it in. Oh, amazing, amazing. Um, so I'm gonna be bouncing off the walls today if I'm gonna have another cup of coffee with my collagen. I completely forgot about my collagen today. Um, so I'm gonna have leftover meatloaf with the mashed cauliflower and then I'm gonna have another cup of coffee with collagen sometime today, maybe around dinner time. And uh, that's not a bad, that's not a bad thing. I, I probably should buy some decaf though in case I wanna have my collagen at night and then I can have a cup of decaf with collagen. We'll see. All right, it's 2.30. I'm at 1887 steps. We're gonna go for a walk, take the dog for a walk. So we'll see how this goes. All right, we were out there for 25 minutes and we almost have the daily steps and 4,103 and it is only three o'clock, not bad. And according to this, I got six minutes of exercise in, even though I walked for 25 minutes. All right, it is 3.40 right now, and I am making my meal for the day, which is leftover mashed cauliflower and the Big Mac meatloaf that I made yesterday. I went ahead and made my own little side sauce of the Big Mac sauce. I'm not gonna use all of this but I'll pour some of this on here. There's the finished product. I was really heavy handed on the sauce cause it tastes good. All right, today's steps is 5,794. So I went, I met my goal. I went over 5,000 steps today. This is before medication, 148 over 101. All right, this is an hour after my meds and it's 143 over 98. Oh. Happy Wednesday. So I got in the car to run errands today. Sorry for the shaky camera. I got in the car to run errands today and my car had a flat. So I have to drive my husband's big old truck. I stopped by the Dollar Tree just to get a couple of things uh, for our birthday box. We have a birthday box at home that when it's any of the kids' birthdays or any of our birthdays, we kind of pull out from that box and decorate the house and the table, the dining room table and whatnot. So I needed to refill some stuff with that. I'm gonna go to Walmart to get like a desk lamp to get this kids ready for the first day of school tomorrow. And then I have to go to HEB because I don't have sour cream and lettuce wraps for our tacos that are supposed to be on Friday or something. I did find some K-Cups at Dollar Tree and some vanilla chai tea bags. So I'll be trying those for the first time. So I'm excited about that, but it is 12 o'clock. I've not had my coffee. I've not had anything except for my medication this morning. So I haven't had my apple cider vinegar. I haven't had my coffee. I haven't had anything. So after I'm done running around and getting everything done with my mask on, of course, isn't that cute? They got little 
doggy paws. Um, after I'm running around getting all of that done, then I'll go home, have my um, collagen coffee today, maybe some MCT oil, I'm not sure. And then tonight's one meal is we're going to have a big old ribeye steak with, I believe, some roasted broccoli. So that's the plan for today. Ooh, it's hot outside. So I'm pretty hungry, um, or I want something. It's 1230. So I just left the grocery store and I went ahead and got a super coffee. This time I'm gonna try the mocha. It's 80 calories. It has MCT oil and protein. So three total fat, four carbs. Two of them are dietary fibers, so really two net carbs. So I'm gonna go ahead and have this now, and if I end up having my collagen coffee later on in the day, then great. I'm not sure what time we're planning on making dinner, but we may have to push it up because I'm pretty hungry, unless I have a snack when I get home. But I just have one more spot stop to make, and then I should be back at home for the rest of the day. All right, it's 2.15. I'm finally back from all of my errands, and I'm going to have my collagen coffee with I put a tablespoon of MCT oil and a nut pod of the cinnamon swirl and a little dash of cinnamon on top. All right, this is dinner for tonight. We have a ribeye cooked in butter, one and a half sausage links and some broccoli, roasted broccoli with Parmesan cheese. Yum, yum, yum. It's 10.15 and I am starting my Thursday off with some collagen coffee and heavy cream. It's first day of school over here, so I need a big cup of coffee. Yum. I'm going to top this off with my sugar-free whipped cream and we're good to go. All right, it is about 1.30. I'm getting a little hungry. I was really trying to do one meal a day, um, but I'm going to do a little snack. So maybe today will be considered a meal and a snack. Because uh, I've, I've had this headache since this morning, so I just want to make sure that um, I eat something to not make it worse. So I'm going to go ahead and get this little Havarti cheese, um, put it on the turkey slice, maybe warm it up in the microwave for a couple of seconds to get the cheese nice and melty and then put a little bit of mustard on it and just kind of have a little protein snack to hold me over all right there it is all melty with a little bit of ground stone ground mustard i'm gonna just roll it up and eat it like that and then i'm going to make my apple cider vinegar drink so i can sip on that today to keep me full and satisfied until i throw some chicken tenders into the air fryer for tonight or for today I'm still trying to do an early dinner. So I made some of this Big Mac sauce from the meatloaf the other night to go with the chicken as a dip. And Caesar says it tastes like Long John Silver. What did you say? Like Long John Silver chicken? Like Long John. All right, it's 1045 and it's 5,673 steps. I did more than 5,000 steps today, so that's good but I have not done my 10,000 this week and we're already Thursday, so fail. Good morning, it is Friday. We have been doing one meal a day this whole week. I am gonna weigh in tomorrow morning to see how the five days have been going for me and then we'll start something new next week. Let's get some coffee. All right, this is what I'm having this morning's coffee. I'm going to put some collagen. I love this chocolate keto collagen from Perfect Keto. I'm going to put a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. I'm going to go ahead and put a tablespoon of MCT oil just to get some extra fat and keep things moving and then I'm going to top it all off with my homemade whipped cream so that's what we're looking at today all right I had my collagen coffee at around 10 a.m. so it is almost one and I'm gonna go ahead and sip on my apple cider vinegar for today so I squeezed half a lemon and it's gonna give me about 
I don't know, what is this? Half an ounce, half an ounce of lemon juice. And then I'm gonna do a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and a squirt of stevia and a dash of cinnamon. So I'm actually excited to wait in tomorrow morning because I keep getting compliments that I look slimmer, I look thinner. So I don't know if I lost the three pounds that I was hoping to lose this week or not, but I think inches wise, people are starting to notice. Like my husband was noticing it, my sister mentioned something. So um, I hope. <laughs> right, I hit 5,000 steps for the fifth day in a row. I did not do my 10,000 steps twice this week, but this was good too. I at least meant that. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning. I'm in the car or truck again. I feel like I've been very busy this week, but we are in the car taking Copper to the vet to get his ears clean today, so that's why I'm here. But I did weigh myself this morning and I wanted to give you a little bit of an update as to how this week went. This week the challenge was to do one meal a day, uh, intermittent fasting, try to get 5,000 steps in, try to get 10,000 steps in twice this week. What else? I mean, I felt like there was a lot of challenges that I put out there. For the most part, I stuck to my intermittent fasting. For the most part, I stuck to my one meal a day aside from a couple of snacks that I had to do because I had a massive headache. All in all, at the end of the week, I now mind you, I started on Monday and I'm only basically weighing myself from last week to this week, but the challenge didn't even start until Monday. So sometimes I've been in this thing about weekends being free like you know don't count don't see what time it is not you know all this free stuff so um that being said my challenge was really monday through friday i lost 0.8 pounds so it's a win because i lost that's good it's a fail because I was really wanting to do three pounds this week, but you know what? That was probably a little ambitious for me because three pounds in one week. So I don't even remember the last time I did three pounds. Oh, well, actually I do. It was the first week of the clean keto challenge where I lost five pounds in a week. So that's very telling. Mm. Anyway, I lost 0.8 pounds this week. And at this rate, I'm not gonna hit 190 until probably the end of this month. But you know what? Hey, it's okay. The end of the month is gonna come anyway, so I could either be the same weight or I could be 190. So I'm gonna try and be positive about it for next week. All right, for next week, I am sorry for the shaky camera. I don't have my tripod with me in my husband's truck. And so he's got this dangling phone holder and it's literally dangling and swaying. So I apologize. And the car's not even moving. And I'm not even moving. And Copper's not even moving. Anyway, and next week's plan, next week's challenge is there will be no challenges. <laughs> that's my challenge is to not give myself a challenge. And believe me, that's a challenge because I always want to try something new. I always want to see, is this going to work? Is this going to make me lose more weight? And I, sometimes, you know, it's all mental. And I think this next week, I'm just going to let it all go. I am only going to eat when I'm hungry, not eat when I'm not. What a concept, right? Eat when I'm hungry, not eat when I'm not. I'm not going to eat because it's my one meal for the day. I'm not going to not eat because, oh man, it's 10 a.m. and it's not my eating window. I am literally going to throw all of those restrictions out the window. I'm still going to keep it keto, but I'm still not going to weigh. I'm not going to track. I'm not going to do intermittent fasting or forced intermittent fasting. I'm not going to do forced one meal a day. I'm not going to do any of that stuff. And I'm not even going to make myself do 5,000 steps. I'm just going to document everything that I'm eating and I'm going to document how many steps I'm getting. I'm still gonna document everything, but I'm not gonna have any restrictions. And we're gonna see how the week goes. Maybe I'll gain weight, maybe I'll maintain, maybe I'll lose, I'm not sure. But I'm just gonna take it easy next week. And then the following week, I don't know, I may do something crazy. I may do an egg fest. I may do a beef and butter fast again. 
I didn't do it on this channel, but I did it before I had this channel. And I don't think I did it as best as I could have because when I did the beef and butter fast, it was literally just ground beef and butter <laughs> and that was it. I wasn't very creative. So I think this time I'm gonna allow myself ribeyes if I do it again. Uh, I wanna do the egg fast because I see so many people doing it and they get some decent results. I'm just, I like eggs and I'm afraid that I'm gonna hate eggs if I do the egg challenge. So. I don't know, I'm still thinking about it. But for next week, there is no challenges, and the following week, we will see how it goes. Um, my challenge normally on the daily is trying to keep it good, clean keto on the weekends. Like, it's Saturday, I came to bring Copper to the vet, and I brought a Quest Bar. I haven't had a Quest Bar in, oh gosh, I think since we got off the road, which was back in July, so it's been a month that I haven't had a Quest Bar. So on my weekends, I'm kind of like, you know what, you have all these Quest chips, Quest Bars, stuff that you know you bought that you'd like to try, but you have so many restrictions on yourself, so many rules that don't allow you to have it, that they're just sitting up there. So on a Saturday, if I want a Quest Bar before 10 a.m., then I'm gonna have a Quest Bar before 10 a.m. You know, that's just, I'm not going to go overboard. I'm not going to have a Quest Bar, then Quest Chips, then make some almond flour pancakes and have, you know, some chaffles. And then I'm going to, you know, make a, a keto pizza with some berries and blueberries. And God, all that sounds good, right? <laughs> I'm not going to do that, though. You know, I'm going to try and, and still keep it as clean as possible and as simple as possible. I do want to still try some new recipes today. <laughs> Copper wants to get in the shot. Say hi, Bubba's. Hi. You should buy Bubba's. So tonight I am gonna try another recipe from Catherine Michelle. I did the Big Mac, Keto Big Mac meatloaf uh, the other day. And this time I'm gonna try her Hasselback chicken. She makes such good food. Uh, so I still wanna try new recipes. I do have the Southern Ke Comfort cookbook that I wanna try new things out. Maybe this coming week I'll do it since this is like my no rules, no challenges, no restrictions kind of week. I'm not gonna go crazy with baking cheesecakes and stuff, but I am gonna try new things and um, see what we come up with. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the love, the support, the positive words. Thank you for your comments. I read every single one of them. Please subscribe if you haven't already because I'd love to have you as part of this journey. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.